Welcome back everybody, today we're going to take a look at how to attack a scale on Icebox. Here's what we're going to cover in this video. If you like what you see here, stick around, we're going to break it down. I'm going to walk through a simple and complex setup for executing on each site, but supporting your teammates on Icebox. I'm going to go through each one of these lineups as well as the purpose and the intention as to why I do it. Uh, we're going to go through A, Mid, and B. So, if you've stuck around this long, we're going to jump right into it, and I hope you enjoy. So for A site, first thing we're going to do is talk about the dagger. I'm going to show you three different dagger spots for three different approaches to attacking A site. One is for pre-round, one is going on site, and one is for gathering information early round. So for this first one, you want to just aim here at this wall pre-round, and when the round starts, you just toss it onto this wall. This lands here, and what's great is that it clears off anybody who might be coming close, playing the orb, or playing around barrels. This will let your teammates know that somebody is in this vicinity on the right side, so if you're going up the belts, you know that you know these areas are clear, you don't have to aim at both sides. So once again, the dagger hits this wall right when the round starts. Lots of room for error. The second dagger is one that's very similar, but it clears the left side and it takes a little bit longer to set up, maybe two or three seconds. You aim here at the edge of the pipes, and what it does is it clears anybody sitting here or pushing. Sometimes you'll see a jet or a chamber, maybe an omen set up closer on these pipes. That allows for your team to push the belts, go through, making sure that anyone in these left corners are clear. It also clears the nest as well. So as the first dagger was for the right, this dagger is for the left. It takes us a little bit longer to set up. And the last dagger for A, you want to just stand here on this wall. If you can see where the line of this light meets the corner of that opening. Watching here. And then just aim here on the bottom where this gray area meets. So let me show you that. So that's actually the opening of the nest. And what we're going to try to do is aim this dagger right into the nest. So when you toss it here, you see that it lands right in the center. It clears the most amount of space. It also goes to the stairs in case anybody's playing back a site. Sometimes you'll see an opera play, or you'll see a sentinel, such as a chamber. Uh, you'll see a killjoy setting up your utility. But this clears as much of the site as possible, including the back stairs in case they're trying to play back further. So to review, you just line up in the back here where this light is, and then you aim at the gray line, you toss it over, and it lands right in. So to review all the daggers again, you have in the tube, CT nest, quick wall to the right, quick pipes dagger. Now we're going to jump into the flash grenades. So I have a couple of flashes. Same thing with the dagger. It's all situational based on the enemy team and how you're planning to take. So this first one lands right here, and it kind of pushes off the opper. The second one is for when you're pushing on a site, and the third one is when you're pretty much on site, clear some gaps and angles. So for this first one, you want to aim up at this line here, and you just want to run and toss it right when the round starts. This gives your teammates a chance to enter this lane without having to look to see if there's a somebody holding this angle on top of the fridge. So if you look up here, the flash lands right here. That's in the line of sight for anybody whose crosshairs are on short here. So sometimes you'll have a chamber or a jet play. Hopefully this will close the gap so your teammates can enter into the site or the jet or the chamber will play off. The second flash is right up here on this wall. You want to run and toss it. It clears the corner here so that you can focus on the right side, push it back anybody if somebody's playing close. But ultimately what you want to do is you just want to make sure that this mid is clear so that you can focus on one angle and push the other. And then finally, the last flash is when you're on site. There's so many different flashes you can do. So say, for example, you know that somebody's in the back of site. I just aim at the, I just aim at the second part of these tiles here and toss the flash so that it flashes both the top and the bottom. And it doesn't flash your teammates. And so this is good for when you're trying to plant it or if you're going to clear refrigerator. Usually someone's playing in one of these angles. You want to make sure you're just closing these off for your team. If you want to push deeper into site, you want to go to back site. I'll throw something over the 409 box here. You don't want to aim over the orange line, the zip line. You want to aim under it so it becomes a pop flash and it lands right in front of screens here. So let's review the flashes again. The first one is to clear the angle for your team. It closes that gap. Second one is when you're initiating onto the maze. 
and then you can clear the barrels and then finally the you have a choice you know what do you want to flash you can do the back or you can do screens so this is all just situational based off of what the defenders are doing and how you want to execute on a site where smokes might be all right and then finally we're going to jump into how to use the nade so I have three nade lineups. The first one is to clear rafters for an operator or aggressive rifler. The second one is for the generator and fridge. And the last one is really just a nade lineup. If I still have my nade at the end of the round, I'll do a lineup for something funny. So to do the rafters lineup, you want to just start pre-round, aim at this line here at the light, just do a jump and toss at the same time. And what this does is it lands right here on rafters. It pushes off anybody who's playing this angle. Most of the times it's an operator. Or if it's not smoked, this will guarantee that your team can go up the belts and clear this gap without being seen and without having any sort of enemy yeah. aiming at you. So I love throwing this when we're executing like a fast push. It lands in about four seconds. So once again, jump and toss, clears off this angle. They're forced to play lower or they're going to have to push into one of these areas. So the second nade is when you're transitioning into attacking under the site and say you haven't used your nade yet. I always clear this refrigerator angle. This is one of the strongest angles on the site, especially when you're on an eco round. You'll usually hear somebody here with a judge or a shorty. What this does is it closes this hard angle, so when you're entering onto site, you don't have to worry about this hard angle. And it's a highly punishable angle because there are two to three lanes at any time that are aiming this lane. And if you try to hard clear it, you can get punished. And so it really just depends on what your setup is and what the enemy team has been doing. And then finally, a nade lineup for post plant. You just it's in my icebox videos if you want to take a look. But you just want to aim at this gap here with the top of the line. You just toss it over. It lands on open plant spot and default. It's a very versatile nade. So next we're going to jump into mid execute. I only have one execution lineup on here. KO is very versatile so you can really flex this and do whatever you want. But for me what I'm doing a clear execution. I'll throw a nade here on boiler. I'll throw a dagger here at this corner for the most space and then I'll flash behind me. I know, I know it's a little strange about flashing behind me but let me show you how this full execute looks like and then I'll show you how and why each one of these work the way that they do. So that's kind of what it looks like when you get the full kit your team's pushing through you got a smoke in the middle everybody's kind of firing on all cylinders. So to set everything up you just want to sit in front of this kingdom box here. You want to align your flash right here there's a there's a little bit room for error but you want to just snug your little flash ui right here at where this um edge of the box is and then you jump and you toss it and this lands right on top of the boiler so anybody's playing this angle immediately has to jump off they can't even peek it because the ramp is covered with the nade as well Secondly, you follow it up with a dagger this lands right in the corner clears off anybody close in kitchen also suppresses the person on boiler but this allows your team to push through mid knowing that some, they have to look at the kitchen angle. If it doesn't catch anybody on the angle, no one will be at that kitchen door. Finally, the flashbang you want to throw directly over your left shoulder. The reason why. If you come up here and you look at this white sphere, it looks like the white Death Star in Star Wars. This sphere is visible very clearly from the boiler. Let's take a look here. So if somebody's aiming right here in the middle, it's clearly in their eyesight, even if they're ADSing or they're zooming in. If a flash lands over that, it doesn't matter if it's close or far. Chaos nades will flash a person fully, doesn't matter if they're close or far. So look at the sphere and it's in their sight line. So what you want to do, you just want to toss it over your left shoulder as high as you can to reach the Death Star. I'll, sometimes I'll just throw it directly up, but this will flash anybody who's aiming through the middle. So once again, just for frame of reference, look at the white Death Star, toss your flash as high as you can. You can follow up with the flash over, like maybe sometimes people will smoke and you want to clear the corner. Or you can flash over the tube to get anybody who's close to your teammates. It just depends on, as I said, the situation and based off of the enemy team is playing. Um, another dagger is just throwing it an orange box. So when your team's pushing through the middle, it clears all these close left corners so that you don't have to worry about them as you're kind of running through. You can kind of just focus on one angle at a time, the long one. You don't have to worry about you know somebody camping here with a Spectre or a Bucky or a Judge. 
All right, and then finally, uh, we're going to execute on B. I have a couple lineups here. We're going to first start with the dagger. Uh, here's a lineup for yellow box. Uh, the second one is going to be something closer to clear the close angles. Usually when you're pushing, you want to grab an alt orb. And then uh, finally, the last one is for planting and support on site. So the first one, you want to hug yourself in this little area here, here where the vent meets. You want to align your UI here, and I have a video that shows this exact lineup. It's very easy. The edge of your UI with this little corner. And then you want to toss the dagger over this building. It takes about six to seven seconds to land, but it's a highly effective dagger to push off anybody who's holding this more aggressive angle with an op. Usually you'll see like a chamber or a jet up here. And what this does is, one, if they decide to take something more aggressive, they could be potentially punished because they can't use their util. The second dagger I throw is here at the new entrance that they added. Clears off these close corners for your teammates. You'll also know if you can push in, grab the alt orb, and start executing on site. Sometimes people are playing on top. This just really helps you get into the lane here. And then finally, the last dagger I throw is right here. Um, it just depends on the situation of the game, but pretty much you're just throwing it right here on the site at the tube. What you want to do is make sure that no one is in these closer corners to punish the planter. Usually a sage will wall here, or you'll see like a smoke on snowman. But it's really just to make sure that no one is in these close corners to punish the planter. Next, we're going to take a look at flash grenades. So I have a pop flash for the entry. I have one for site. And then I have a cheekier one that sets up in middle. So for the first one here, you just want to aim at the edge of the green kingdom box. As you're running, toss it right in the center here and it'll come as high as it possible. The reason why you want to throw it a little bit high and not the pop flash is because you want to be able to hit the guy who's behind the box. Behind that lane at the box, this one right here. The sniper in the back here. Sometimes if I'm on site and I'm trying to protect the planter, I'll either throw something to snowman or I'll throw a close corner here. So it's harder for the planter to be punished. And finally, I have a cheeky lineup here if you decide you want to push mid and support your team. You just aim up at this yellow construction and you just run and toss it so it falls over here. And once again, this has to be high so that it flashes the person playing yellow box. See? It comes over here, it's a nice pop flash, especially if they're trying to clear the long angle. And then finally, I have a few nades that I'd like to show you. The first one clears off anybody who's holding this close angle uh, with, with an Odin or an Operator. Uh, the second nade is for anybody who's in Snowman, it pushes back the long angle. And then third, just like some of the other util for each of the dagger and the nade, it's just to clear off the angle for the planter. So the first one here, it's a safe nade. You want to just aim it at the edge of the K and the kingdom sign up here in the green. Toss it over. If anybody's playing this angle, hopefully it pushes them back so that you can gain a little more space, grab the orb, clear the other corners. When you're executing on site, there's usually somebody at Snowman 9 out of 10 times. So what you want to do is very easy. Just hug this back wall. Aim at the Snowman. Just run up and toss. That's it. It's a very simple one. Just remember for Snowman, aim at the Snowman. Run up and toss it. Aim at the snowman, run up and toss it. This won't clear the entire angle. Usually this is smoked or there's a viper wall, but it will push anybody back who's trying to play a more aggressive angle, play an off angle for the planter. And then finally, the last nade that I throw, uh, just depending on the situation, is I'll either clear the top tube or I'll clear the bottom side. Once again, it's really just a pure support nade to make sure that we can get the plant down and ensure a post-plant scenario. So finally, here's what the execute might look like if you're playing. You'll do the dagger lineup, you'll toss the flash, and then you'll toss the nade lineup. By the time you do this, this should give you enough information to know exactly where somebody's holding on B. I hope this helps in the game. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you in more videos. Thank you.